We made it. We we got through. We need to rest. Rest. Rest now. Crazy Dog Audio Theatre presents Infidel by Roger Gregg. Our story of the Knight Sir Hugh of Beauvais is based upon the actual events of the Fifth Crusade, which began in the year 1217. Episode 1, A Knight's Advance. Why don't we wait here, at least until it's dark? Well, darkness. Well, they won't see us then, will they? They'll be looking for us down by the river. You see, <laughs> they think that we don't know where we're going. But of course we do. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them down there, killing each other. That's it. Go on. Go on, fight. Yield, little brother. What? What? Yield, brother. There's nobody there. Just... Just you lying there. You're getting nervous, aren't you? Don't worry. Hey. Hey. Did you know... The first piece of food we were given was stuck to the tip of our father's sword? It was. Remember? I have killed with mine. So have I. Deus Lobo! It's God's will. Not yet, brother! Not yet, brother! Wait, wait! Your shield, Master Hugh! Use your shield! Yes! Sir Humphrey! Sorry! Come on! Patience, brother! All right! I'm ready! Now! That's it! Keep your shield up, Master Hugh! Up high! No! If your opponent is much larger than you, like your brother, and is rushing towards you, don't just stand there! Step aside and parry with your shield, not your sword! Shield! Sword! Shield! strikes out, he extends himself. That's the moment to strike back. You must see that moment before it happens. How, Uncle? By seeing into his spirit. Keep your eyes fixed on his. My eyes? What? Don't look at me! Look at him! <laughs> Yield, brother. Yes! Yes! I yield! Well fought, Philip. Here, take my hand. It's all right. I can get up. Are you sure? Yes. I'm all right. <laughs> now, lads, I cannot overstress this. When we engage in combat, our arms converge. Another lecture. <laughs> and likewise, our spirits converge. At a tournament, we fight for our pride. Or to gain a lady's favour. Oh, and how is Lady Joanna? Get off. <laughs> Listen! On the battlefield, it does not matter what tongues we speak or the symbols we wave about. What matters are the men who face each other. But surely then it all comes down to strength. The stronger one, like Philip, will always win. Ah, but what is strength? The ability to crush your enemy. That, Master Philip, is brute force. 
Is not brute force a form of strength? Oh, yes. The lowest form. <clears throat> but, Uncle, what can possibly match the strength of a Christian knight fighting for our true faith? A pagan fighting for his life. Oh. A man who fights to protect his child will fight differently than if he were fighting merely because he was paid to. Or forced to by his king. Indeed. But surely it is still a question of how hard you strike with your sword. But we do not fight with our swords, Philip. We fight with our hearts. Brute force only creates new enemies. No, it doesn't. You should know. Should I? Yes, you were a great crusader, uncle. You were at Acre. Everyone knows. What do they know? How Richard the Lionheart won the day. Yes, Richard won the day, but not the war. Acre is remembered as a great victory. And who remembers the survivors of our great victory? What survivors? Infidels. People. 2,700 unarmed men, women, children. Oh, Deus la Volt! Richard ordered his knights to march them into a field and put every one of them to the sword. Kill them? Slaughter them like animals. They are animals. Some went to their deaths with great composure, their lips moving steadily as they said their heathen prayers. But, but the little ones just looked up at me. Christ have mercy on them. Mercy? When have they ever shown us mercy? There was a preacher there that day, screaming out verses from the scriptures to drown the children's screams. I still hear them every night. I hear their voices. You were following orders. Yes, uncle. It's over. It is not over. And, and if, it, if it weren't for these wars, you, you would give up this swordplay and continue with your studies at befitting a younger brother. Why, the, the nearest you'd then get to a battlefield would be your chessboard. I still think I'd much rather be a knight than a scholar tucked away in some monastery. <laughs> it is the highest honour a Christian knight may attain. To kill the infidel? The church teaches this. It is the most glorious thing. The most glorious thing. Philip, have you ever wondered what it must be like to love a woman? I have. Joanna. Think, think of your father, Philip. You saw him fall in battle. Yes. Yes, I did. A brave man, my brother was. I shall be as brave. Braver, you'll see. And I also saw your mother. All those years she lived on, alone. <laughs> mother was a gentle woman. Her womanly heart was compassionate. She could not appreciate the glory. Do you not think she would gladly have traded that glory to have your father back? Yes. Yes, I remember. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Come on, Philip. Pray with me. Do I have to? Of course. Come now. Pure of heart, remember? What about you? Why doesn't he have to pray? I'm too little. No, you're not. I am. Fill a pillock, fill a pillock. Why, you little rat? Oh, uh, let me Phil go. Hugh, stop it at once. You're brothers. But he's a... Philip, you're older. You must always look out for little Hugh. Do you understand? Yes, mother. Swear it. I swear. I will always look out for Hugh. And Hugh, you're always old enough to pray. Yes, mother. Now... Say it with us. Peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Yes, I remember. Peacemakers. 
Yes. Yes. Prayer. It was the answer to everything. Even a prayer to bless our swords. Hearken, we beseech thee, O Lord, and bless with thy right hand this sword, that it may be a righteous defender of widows and orphans. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Defend, widows and orphans. Defend? <laughs> look. I said look. You see those hills across the valley there? Do you see those tiny dots along the pass? Do you see them? Widows and orphans. Refugees. We've defended them by burning their homes and taking their harvests. Hey! Widows and orphans! You cannot escape from hell! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. It's just that they, they won't get far. You see, they, they can't even drink the water. They are wells. We poisoned all their wells. Hey, this wine is a token to express our thanks to our customers. Huh? Of course. Customers. You'll find that we Venetian merchants have the largest selection of arms in all of Greece. <laughs> we have supplied all the noble houses. Well, where do we begin? <laughs> With the swords, of course. <laughs> we have the finest swords in the world. Swords from Toledo, Germany, Poitiers. What about this one? Oh, look at the size. <sighs> now, this is a blade. Yes, a Saragossa, made from the finest steel tempered in the fabled waters of the river Ebro. So sharp it can cut a floating thread. Uh, observe. If you will do the honor. Of course. Stand back, gentlemen. Now, watch. Morgan, the thread, if you please. The thread, huh? <laughs> Impressive. Yes. Yes, you'll find that the Templars, the most courageous order of knights in the Holy Land, favor the Saragossa. Then I'd like the biggest sword you have, the Saragossa. Oh, Philip, I... Please, 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 for young knights such as yourself, we recommend the Poitiers. It is lighter, as you can see, but very durable. But it's smaller. Ah, but this Poitiers here comes with a holy relic inset on the pommel, huh? You see? Holy relic? Very holy. See, uh, just here. This little... I can't tell. What is it? A fragment. Fragment. A fragment? You mean... Yes, of the true cross. God be praised. We have been saving this holy sword for a knight favored by the hand of God. Mm. Whose heart is pure. Whose courage is undaunted. Whose strength is unparalleled. Yes, yes. How much? 2,500. 2,500? Uh, no, no, uh, gentlemen, that's, that's too much. I'm sorry. Uh, Martin, mm. Martin, Martin. Look at this poor virtuous knight here. Oh. Look into his eyes, huh? Oh. Surely we can see our way to lowering the price for his sake. He seems worthy. Uh, yes, Morgan, I believe you are right. Uh, for you, Sir Philip, out of respect for your devotion to our Lord Jesus, this holy sword shall be yours for a mere 1,500 ducats, huh? 1,500. Yes, gentlemen, I think... Uh, gentlemen, <laughs> may I speak to my brother alone, please? Uh, certainly. <laughs> You, 1,500 ducats for a... You, it's a fragment of the true cross. We have other weapons to buy. And transportation. How will we... Put your faith in Jesus. Philip, what we take from the peasants is not enough to pay for all of these things. And so we shall double the taxes then. And how will they survive the winter? Who cares, Hugh? God will provide. But Philip, I have read over... Don't the... worry. Jesus says we must store our riches in heaven. We must leave everything to follow him. We are not going to heaven just yet, Philip. We are going to war. And what better protection than a fragment of the true cross? Well, I would prefer a coat of chain mail. How can you say that? Are you not a Christian? Yes, of course I'm a Christian. Have I ever failed you in any way? No, never. Am I not your elder brother? Yes. Look, you may think you are the bright one because you have been taught to read, but I have worked it all out. Oh, you have? Yes, I have. 
We shall more than make up our costs from the booty we shall take from the infidel. Jewels, gold, treasures. And if we get killed? Uh, no. No. You, Deus Levolt, God is on our side. Uh, <clears throat> Gentlemen, you have reached the decision, huh? We have. Ah. Good. And? We shall each take a potier sword, scabbard, and belt. I will have this holy sword with the fragment. Oh. Ah, wise choice. <laughs> What about armor? We do, of course, have uh, ceremonial helmets. Uh, very popular with the ladies. <laughs> oh? Oh, yes. Women cannot resist ceremonial helmets. Uh, how much are ceremonial helmets? We are not interested in vanities. But Joanna you, will... We have no interest in impressing Lady Joanna. We haven't? No, we are interested in victory. But she'll notice me. Come back victorious, laden with riches, Hugh, and then she'll notice you. <laughs> No. No, 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 please. Please. Don't fall asleep. Let, let me ask you just one question before you fall asleep. Where do you think we got the money to pay for our swords? For the war? Hmm? Our peasants. <laughs> you see, we taxed them so hard to pay for all this that they had to go without food we shall never see our peasants in our fields again no 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 i'm wrong they are in the fields buried get back all of you peasants keep the way clear can you see Lady Joanna? No. You! I told you to keep back from there! All of you, keep this place clear! Hello, good sir. You are a noble from Bove? Well, I'm from Bove. I'm sure then you would like to help us. Help who? My brothers and I. Brothers? Yes, we've been helping to feed many of the poorest of the poor. We've set up a shelter. Oh, the brothers! Yes, I I've, I've heard about you. Good. We're taking up a collection to buy food. You see, the recent harvest was... Uh, the war tax. Yes. It's hurt the poorest the most. Maybe you've seen how they live. No. Many of the children are hungry, sir. Can you help? Yes, of course. Um, here, let me, let me see what I have. Hey, hey! What are you doing? Put that away, Hugh. We're collecting. Get away from him. Uh, Philip, he's... Please, sir. People are hungry. Then let them work. Remember, whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers... Don't get smart with me. Now go on. Philip... Stir up trouble somewhere else. He's one of the brothers. Brothers? Brothers of what? Scum? Look at him. Vermin dressed in rags. He's coming! He's coming! Praise God, Hugh. This is surely a great day. There he is! It's John the Preacher! Now there's a man, Hugh, truly touched by God. Yes. Quiet! He's going to speak! My brothers and sisters! Jesus died upon the cross and rose again so that we could all come to know his peace. But the infidel does not want peace because he cannot truly believe in peace because he does not accept the salvation that only comes through Jesus Christ. There she is. Look, Philip. Lady Joanna. My God, she's beautiful. Quiet, you! I'm going to go. Listen to John. Sorry, excuse me. May I please pass? Sorry. Many years ago, I was in a church in Jerusalem praying. When suddenly the doors swung open, and there came rushing in a group of infidel assassins. They dashed forward and plucked a wee little baby right from the arms of his mother dashed it to its death against the stone of the altar. Then, in a frenzy, they began stabbing to the left and right, trying to kill as many Christians as they could until they were torn apart by the crowd. They stabbed me several times, for with my bare hands, I tried to stop them, and I fell as I lay there in a pool of blood. And suddenly... A great 
blinding light fell all about me. And I heard a voice, and it said, John, you must go forth and spread the truth. And I said, Lord, where do I find this truth? And he said, in the prophecies I have laid out in my holy scriptures. But be vigilant. Do not be deceived by those who interpret and twist the holy word of God to serve their own ends. Yes, that's right. We've all seen these people stirring up trouble. But don't despair. These false doctrines are but another sign of what must come to pass. God has chosen me to tell you the truth. Do you wish to hear it? God says, you shall be his righteous sword. You, the sanctified chosen elect, shall strike down the followers of the false prophet of the Antichrist. Lady, Lady Joanna, remember me? We, we met at the uh, Harvest Festival. Yes. You're Philip's brother, Hugh. Oh, you know my name? Oh, yes. You made quite a dashing impression. I was dashing? After your chessboard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. I, I was showing the game to one of the peasant children. Until they ran off with your board. <laughs> it was a rook, actually. <laughs> you were very funny. And sweet. Oh? Very sweet. Shouldn't you be studying in a monastery? No. No? Well, n not, not anymore. You're not like your brother. No? You're very sweet. All knights taking up the cross in this holy war shall be guaranteed a just share of the spoils taken from the infidel and the forgiveness of all your sins. This is God's will. Deus la volt! Deus la volt! Deus la volt! With the share of the spoils, I could buy land when I return. I'd like that very much, you. You would? Yes. Just see to it you return. Yes. Listen! Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. Will you let him in? Good father! Good father! I wish to take up the cross. Thank you, Jesus! Another soldier for Christ! Come forward, young knight. What is your name, sir? Philip of Beauvais. Do you, Sir Philip, swear to commit your sword in the forthcoming crusade? I do. Then receive this blessed tunic emblazoned with the cross of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I shall do us all proud. You will all see. Are there others here who wish to side with Christ? My brother, you, come with me. Philip, Philip, I... Go, pledge yourself. Is he too a soldier for Christ? Will Philip's brother prove as noble? He is. Do not fear, Sir Knight. Though my brother is humble, his sword will not prove humble in the face of the infidel. Your name? Sir Hugh of Beauvais. Do you commit your sword? He does. Yes, he does. Do you commit your sword? I... I do. <laughs> Yes, that was painless, wasn't it? I've asked you before not to look at me like that. Like there was something I could have done to stop it. What could I do? Eh? Nothing. Nothing. It was the only way to have a chance. A future. To be considered worthy of... Joanna. Lady Joanna. My God, she's beautiful. Life with her would be paradise. Do you know something? Maybe this is as much paradise as any of us get. I mean, just, just to be here. Just to be alive. 
just to be alive. You have been listening to episode one of Infidel by Roger Gregg. Starring Anthony Brophy, David Murray, Morgan Jones, Paul B. Lennox, Dermot McGinnis, Raymond Keane, Roger Gregg, Georgina Miller, Louis Gregg, Isaac Jones, and Aidan Vaughan. Studio and location recording by Mark McGrath. Location recordings at Raleigh House, McCroom, County Cork. Infidel was written, directed and produced by Roger Gregg. Find out more at crazydogaudiotheatre.com.